So I'm just updating you guys today. Um, this is I want to say day four. Um, I feel like hell. Um, I've been cramping so bad. Like the after pains are way worse than anything I ever felt. I literally feel like I'm in labor. Like I've been up all night. Just. <sighs> Every 10 minutes, I'm getting and contractions and cramps, and it hurts, like, really bad. And I'm tired. I haven't got to get any sleep at all. I thought I didn't get any sleep at the hospital. I, I really didn't get any sleep last night. <laughs> I thought it was going to be easier when I came home because I'm in my own zone, my own room. I'm in my comfort zone. But it really wasn't any easier. And all the medicine that I took, it didn't help at all. I still got my hospital bands on. I, showered and everything of course but i just haven't cut them off yet <laughs> but um i feel absolutely horrible <sighs> so i'll be so happy when this is over with i wish i could just fast forward the next three weeks like um baby girl was supposed to have her first newborn appointment today and we had to reschedule because um, my husband had to go to work and so he couldn't take us there. Um, so we rescheduled for tomorrow after he gets off work. But at this point, I'm scared to even take more medicine because it doesn't really seem like it's helping. So I don't know what to do, but just sit up and be in pain at this point. Oh yeah, guys, <laughs> I forgot to mention it's july 22nd which is my birthday today <laughs> so this is how i'm spending my birthday um um i wouldn't trade having my daughter here for the world um i'm just in a lot of pain day six of postpartum i want to say um i still feel very much sore i still need my pain medicine um I do feel a tad bit better than what I was feeling yesterday and um, the day before. Um, so I'm just going to update you guys on days. Let's see. Days four and five were very horrible. Um, it was like I was getting contractions every 10 minutes. They, they were horrible. Um, very very horrible i got a c-section and i got my tubes tied or clipped or burnt or something i i know i'm not supposed to be able to get pregnant again so um i got some type of tubal ligation i guess I, hopefully i pronounced that right but if there's um anybody else that has got um a c-section with their tubes tied um let me know um and you know tell me how your postpartum experience went and how your um pain was because i know when i first came home mine was terrible and it's still pretty bad now i'm still getting pains now um for one reason i don't know why i'm getting more pains on my right side um especially when i sit down and try to use the bathroom it's um it's pretty painful and um it's 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 pretty painful it's hard to wipe and everything so I, I know that's tmi but i'm doing a postpartum video so i'm not gonna sugarcoat anything if, if i'm hurting and i got details to tell you I'm gonna... but yeah it got to the point where of, of pain where i was just questioning was any of this even normal anymore because i'm like I know when you breastfeed, your uterus contracts and you can feel it more. And I know it's more painful with each child you have. And this is baby number five for me. So I guess I could expect to be in excruciating pain. But 
it was to the point where my medicine was not even helping like the medicine that I was taking like it it was not helping those pains at all and I was waking up like every 10 minutes like I didn't get any sleep and every 10 minutes I was just waking up being stunned and shocked with pain like I was like I do I need to go back to the hospital because is this normal you know like so yeah postpartum <laughs> gotta love it But yeah, I'll be definitely happy when I um, heal up. Um, baby girl's right here, right in my arms. Sleeping, of course, eating like a champ. But, um, yeah. She's worth all of it. Wouldn't trade her for the world. I am so in love with her. I will be happy when I heal up though because I'm I don't do well with pain or this type of pain anyway so yeah <laughs> but yeah that's my um day number six update all right guys so it's day 11 um of postpartum um I've worked up enough energy to be able to take my braids down and wash my hair it really 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 needed it um and I'm having a little bit of pain, but it's not nearly as bad as it was. I don't have to take the uh, narcotics. Now I'm just taking ibuprofen. Um, so yeah, I feel a lot better than what I did, um, but it's still a little pain. Not 100% back to feeling like myself. It's probably gonna take a while for that, but at least I'm not in horrible pain like I was at first. <laughs> Alright guys, so I am in the emergency room, um, I am having symptoms of um, postpartum preeclampsia, so um, I've checked my blood pressure three times already and the first time it was 177, over 90, the second time it was 178, over 90 took two uh, blood pressure pills and it came out even higher so my doctor told me to head to the ER so I'm here hopefully um, they can fix me and I can go back home at night so hopefully I really hate I had to come here um, because I had to leave my other babies and they hate when I come to the hospital because the last time I came to the hospital I was gone for days so um, Everybody was pretty much crying, except for my little baby. So, um, yeah, hopefully I'm not here too long. All right, guys, it's not looking too good at all right now. Um, so, um, my blood pressure had went down for just a little bit. And after the second two readings it went right back up but I'm going home so we don't know why so guys I am two weeks postpartum I do have a doctor's appointment um with my um OBGYN uh tomorrow um who delivered my baby um and obviously I'm going to be telling her about my blood pressure and my um visit to the ER last Friday um didn't really see a point to call today because I have an appointment tomorrow and my blood pressure has went down a little bit. I still think it was some form of postpartum preeclampsia, but I don't know for sure. I'm definitely going to let you guys know what my doctor says tomorrow, but I do feel a little bit better. So I just wanted to um, update you guys on that and I'm going to update you guys again and let you know um, what my doctor has to say about that tomorrow.